Okay guys, well, it's the revenge of the white slime. You can see it growing on the glass. And maybe the same stuff on that little rock in the center there. And there's also tiny filaments on this volcanic rock in my little quarantine tank. You can sort of see it waving in front of the camera there. So, yeah, I thought salt water itself would be a cure. Apparently not. But the good news is I was doing more research and watching some videos by Rad Perez R-A-D-P-E-R-E-Z and Fast Life F-A-S-T T L-I-F-E and I believe they've helped me figure out what is going on here and believe it or not the culprit is this I also want to thank Tidal Gardens for giving me some information um, basically Rad Perez and Fast Life were talking about how things in your air um, basically aerosol cans that contain alcohol fumes as part of the propellant or essential uh, oils that have you know chemicals or carbon based chemicals can trigger blooms of you know slimy bacteria in your tank now first I thought that was kind of crazy but I also came across some videos from Tidal Gardens very advanced reefers will sometimes intentionally put small amounts of alcohol in their tank what's called carbon dosing actually there's many ways of doing it sometimes it takes the form of cheap vodka mixed with a little bit of vinegar or it can be a sugar or something else but the bottom line is you're putting in carbon rich molecules that can cause bacteria to grow why would you do that well the idea here is that when the bacteria grows it doesn't just feed off the carbon you put in the tank it also sucks up other carbon and it also sucks up nitrites and nitrates and eventually it can be um, the bacteria can in large part be removed from the system by the protein skimmer eventually now, Sally Joe at Garf.org was saying that they've gotten to the point where a lot of their tanks are so natural, they have a lot of chato that absorbs um, ammonia and nitrite, nitrate, and they've got um, you know good bacteria in the grunge that can break down waste and toxins, and in some cases in most of their tanks they don't even have any skimmer they don't even have any uh, carbon or purigen or you know polyfiber by marine land bio any of that stuff and I greatly admire that amazing feat of reef keeping that they've achieved but not only am I not there yet, but um, 
Well, I actually spray alcohol around my home to kill germs. I don't really want to get into that. It's a very long story, but being that that is part of my environment, it may be the case that I kind of can't help that I am inadvertently carbon dosing my tank just through the fumes in the air. And I had problems with uh, white slime in my freshwater tanks. No matter what happens, I could never complete the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle didn't even show up. I would try to measure. There's hardly ever any ammonia or nitrate or nitrate. And um, it may be the case that bacteria spores from the air spurred on by breaking down the ammonia, excuse me, not the ammonia, spurred on by breaking down the little bit of fumes they got from rubbing alcohol in the air, um, were breaking down the ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and even living plants, and also clogging my filters. But I can never really detect ammonia in the tank because they were just breaking it down so fast. Now, I actually tried, over here is the little, let's see if I can get the camera set up. Yeah, the camera is just not wanting to cooperate, but right here is the little Green Star Polyp Coral that I bought on eBay, which is still on a frag plug in my quarantine tank, so it has hair algae on it. Um, I tried putting a whole bunch of the five millimeter coral frenzy on top of that, and I thought that maybe the coral would eat a little bit of it, and if it didn't, that my two hermit crabs in here would eat it. Well, apparently the hermit crabs didn't find it, and, um, well, a whole bunch of white slime just grew like crazy all over the food that was left sitting on top of the coral, and I don't know if I can get this or not, but... It's like part of the coral was actually sort of eaten by the slime. Um, yeah. There it is. You can sort of see where it took a chunk out of it, although. The coral did sort of grow and uh, expand out under from under that area. So, hmm, proves the coral's alive, and I'm very unhappy about what happened. Uh, I wish I had that on video that that food growing white slime that was on the coral, but. I just grabbed a turkey baster and sucked the slime off the car trying to save it as quick as possible before I grabbed any camera. Oh, by the way, over here is a tiny little mushroom coral. I bought a rock that was supposed to have two mushroom corals on it off eBay. Actually, it had a third that just happened to be on there also, but it, um, came loose and was blowing around the other tank so I put it in here. It seems to be okay although there was some slime around it also from the um, from the food that I put there trying to see if it would eat some and it turns out it didn't but it did grow white slime. So I'm going to give both these tanks a thorough cleaning 
Now I've been having my salinity at 1.022, sort of the minimum necessary. I'm going to increase it to 1.025. I'm going to increase my skimmer um, filtration. And I'm actually going to break the rules. I'm going to actually add some antibiotics and then add something later that'll be from an established reef tank that should add it back. So hopefully this can recover.